slowly mold the focus. Ow. I wasn't expecting to get a video out this week because um, obviously I was ordering parts but my oil filter managed to come in a couple of days so I guess we can do that. I've also got a little keyring from Mi Mimoto which is where I ordered this from so that's very nice, very cool. Have you got any other goodies? Yeah, that's what we're going to do today, we're going to pop this on. It's not raining, so I might be able to take the bike out and kind of have a look at it, at like the current cases once they're on there properly. And then obviously I'll put the exhaust back on as well. Um, yeah, we can have a look and see see how that looks really. So let's go do that. I'm hoping this is the right size. I mean, obviously I um, clicked on the right bike part, so yes, let's sort that out. So my dad's just quickly moving the car out of the driveway so I can pull my bike out. Um, just going to quickly use this moment to say thank you to a very special patron. They've just sent me a chunk of money recently um, and that will be going towards my handlebar controls. This is just the next thing I have to order for the bike so thank you. Just want to mention that now because knowing me I'll forget and then I'll never remember to express my gratitude for that. So yeah, thank you, special patron, for that little chunk of money. And if any of you, any of you guys also want to check out my patron, um, it's in the link down below. Any support would be appreciated. Even if it's just one quid and it's for one month, you know, it, it's still, it's, you know, it's still great to have that. So thank you very much if you do check that out. And I also have an Instagram where I kind of post things a little bit more regularly and also more like personal shit as well. If you want to know more about me, there's that. Oh, here goes Dad. Let's get all the tools out that I'm going to need. I also want to mention something that, um,. I've noticed like re-watching my videos I don't come across as nearly as charismatic as I think I do uh, I know a lot of the time I seem to be very slow and meh when I'm talking to the camera I think it's because like because I'm learning this as I go when I talk to you guys I've got to like process everything I've just learned within the last you know couple of hours that I've done on the bike so I'm like okay process and then getting it out um, whilst I'm also learning how it all works it just kind of comes out a little bit sluggish and weird um, I'm not as miserable as I look I hope I don't look that miserable but I look back at it sometimes I'm a bit like dude like <laughs> you sound so like tired and done I'm not I'm having a good time it's just getting it out in front of the camera how much I'm enjoying it it doesn't come across like that sometimes so you know, apologies I'm not, you know, a TV presenter quality of work going on here. <laughs> that sounds like the car's been moved, so let's go over. Quickly flush this guy out with a little bit of brake cleaner. Just to make sure that all the kind of grit and stuff's gone. Mm -hmm. Given a clean and we're now going in. I've got the gasket on there. <laughs> I need a 
somehow hold this and the gasket all in place whilst I pop this on. I don't know if I'm going to do that with only two hands. Just pop that. Anybody else really love the smell of like chemicals? Oh, garbage truck. I really love the smell of um, gasoline, brake cleaner, and a lot. I don't know why. I just think it smells really good. Great when it's not a very obvious shape I've drawn. I think it's upside down. I want to start with an obvious one, which would be. Lost that. I think this one. Because ah. that's just. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so this one's this one. And we can all agree that's that one. And the key. I'm just kind of going to do this finger tight all the way around. So my camera died at some point doing that, but that is all on now. That's kind of how it's looking. It's kind of hard to see the difference between the gloss and the matte so far away, but there is definitely a difference there. Oh my god. Right, let's bring it around to the other And there's the other side. I am acutely aware that this is going to be the ugliest bike that has ever been built. There you go. That is, that is it. It looks okay from a distance, so... Yeah, sorry, that last part might have been a bit awkward and 
very short in terms of a walk around. I had some dude just staring at me um, and it was making me uncomfortable. Yeah, so really short episode this week, to be honest. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do next week. I want to start on the handlebars, but, you know, wanting to and actually getting on with it is two different things, dependent if I've brought the metal for it and whatnot. I know I need to kind of like plan out my stuff a bit better. I was like moving quite quickly with the build when I actually planned out each week what I'm going to do. I haven't been doing that recently, which is probably partly why I've like slowed down quite a lot. That'll be it. So take it easy for me. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to leave the farms down and insult me in the comments. Bye.